Hi my lovely viewers this is Rashmi once again bringing to you this week's predictions and i'm beginning aries beginning with aries aries wow uh, a new enterprise all of you who are already in a business or in an enterprise you're going to be diversifying or doing a partnership or getting into something even bigger and what spirit is saying is that a year from now you will be reaping dividends you will be reaping a lot of benefit out of this what is starting uh, in this current period yes so there will be a lot of work pressure this week as well but do not be impulsive is another card that says that impulsive wisdom is not going to be, bring good results so be discerning yeah so introspect that's what i'm trying to say dear arians and let's see taurus 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 yes so taurus uh you're the troubleshooter so you are trying to get to the bottom of a problem and you're doing some troubleshooting uh this week so you're busy plus work wise or project wise or business wise you are controlling two things you're into two things so you have your fingers in two pies which is okay because you are thriving you are doing well so it's a great um week for you taurus and a peaceful resolution is what spirit is saying so something which is ongoing maybe a family matter or a business matter uh, there's going to be a peaceful resolution keep a potted plant by your work site that will help you bring harmony as well as peace in your environment especially your work environment so a potted plant which is an auspicious one you can put on your work around your work table beside your work table so that's for taurus now let's see gemini geminians a change is coming so uh, a change for the good right and financially too it's a period when uh, money is changing hands so uh, money could be coming in and going out yeah so you could be buying you could be selling so anything to do with exchange of money is happening to you and money wise so money is heightened this week and a wish card is there which says uh something is going to come true om maha ganpateya namaha om maha ganpateya namaha is your chant for even more enhanced good luck and let's see what spirit is saying look after your health improve your health eat those healthy foods those bio energy foods especially this week cancerians Cancerians wow travel is on the cards for you and a successful travel so it could also be a work travel for some of you yes it could be a short break so balance spirituality with practicality so you are doing the balancing act actually so you are being practical but you're also taking time out for your for your own um, recreation for your own enhancement for your own growth is what i'd say yeah so that is what even my spirit is saying that do look after yourself so go inward yeah and you're ready to take that leap of faith is another card so if it's a relationship which you're pondering about so take that leap of faith and go for it leo leo there is somebody in your environment who you should not be trusting who could be letting you down is the exact meaning of this card so be careful look around and do not trust easily especially this week and somebody from your past is coming to make you feel happy and cheerful so it's a uh, it could be a friend it could be um, an ex partner so so there's a lot of cheer and socializing as well um, this week but you may be uh suffering from insomnia which is you know maybe because you're overthinking so because of the overthinking and the stress you you're having sleepless nights it seems so take lavender oil it's a essential oil and which has a very soothing uh, aroma so uh, just put two drops on your pillow uh, and then sleep or just put two drops in a bowl of water right next to you so that will give you peaceful sleep let's see what spirit is saying forgive forgive this is your mantra so uh for this week so forgive forgive and forget and move forward so virgo 
let's see what the cards have turned up for you so there will be opposition there will be opposition to a certain plan especially in your workplace so uh, don't get too baffled and don't feel trapped because you will have that feeling of being trapped so there will be a solution out of it if you just think with your logical mind there is an answer there is an answer to every problem remember that so you will find a way out and the love front is great i have the lovers card so um, love is in the air for you all and let me see what spirit is saying for you Virgo. so something which you are wanting or wanting to bring to fruition is going to be happening in the next few weeks itself so it's beginning now so this week is good so it's an auspicious week for you and try and be a little more caref uh, careful with your um, belongings especially yeah and also be carefree on the other hand and so play a little so it's all not always all about work so try and relax a bit as well Librans, let's see what the cards have brought up for you. Okay, so you're doing something dangerous. You're treading on dangerous territory. Be careful, choose your words. Yes, because you can get into trouble. But on the other hand, a card says, expect some miracle to happen too. So Libra, sometimes you have good strokes of good luck, I've seen. So, uh, so even if you are in some sort of a trouble with a good uh, stroke of good luck, you will get out of it yeah and work front is great and quite hectic and you're thriving in, in the work space in the south zone light a dia especially at the time of sunset libra do it this week scorpio scorpions differences are resolved so if there was some kind of a spat with a loved one or there was some kind of a um, an argument or a conflict in the work front that is going to be sorted this week yeah and light a black candle so this really helps to wash away the negativity wash away any arguments any conflict yeah so especially on a saturday and a tuesday if you light a black candle the, at any time that will really help and strike when the opportunity when the when the iron is hot that's the time you need to strike so an opportunity is coming your way so remember to keep be alert about this uh, scorpio sagittarians sagittarians the end of a cycle the end of a tough cycle i would say so you've been struggling with something and um, a happy phase is beginning a new phase is beginning so that struggle is over and a new phase is starting so even in the new phase there will be uncertainty there will be certain teething problems or something which you still are not sure of but you are going to be guided is what the card is saying so you can expect a perfect timing and a perfect guidance for whatever you are undertaking now so capricornians you are beginning a new cycle end of a tough phase so you were struggling with something and now a phase will come when you're going to ease out a bit yes so uncertainty and un um inevitability is going to also be there but you will be guided so a card says you will find your own path and you will be guided and there will be a perfect timing for you for that particular new phase that you entered into a perfect timing will be coming maybe this week itself for you to go on to even better higher levels so it's about work this week so you are working very hard capricornia aquarians somebody intuitive and kind and loving is coming to your rescue uh, aquarians so you can expect help and spirit is saying wait so you are waiting maybe for a good news could be something some financial gains could be something in your business front so wait be patient this week so this week is all about patience also try and meditate meditate with a pink light so this will bring new opportunities this will bring even new encounters for you and new friendships for you so meditate with that pink light lastly pisces so pisces you are clearing off certain old debts or something which you need to forego something which you need to give back so that's what you'll be doing this week and appreciate your 
uh, blessings. Appreciate all that you have from the universe and thank the universe this week. Uh, it's a great period for you and good things are happening to you. And it's also up to you to decide. So it's a decision making week as well. So it's up to you to decide whether to get into that relationship or not, whether to get into that uh, new phase or a new venture. So it's a time for decision making as well for you uh, this week, Pisces. So that's all for all of you lovely signs and I will see you all next week. Thank you.